Um, yeah, that's the ultimate form card. It doesn't really work the same as the Water Slayer event. In the Water Slayer event, the ultimate form card either created the Power Gym 4s, or once you reached 150 intensity, created the ultimate gym. In this case, um, this card acts completely weird. So, when you are acting, when you're just doing a normal match, it acts no different than the Master Collection card. You activate the support card, it gets hit, creates four Power Gym 4s. Once you get the Power Gym 4s on there, then everybody else will start generating massive amounts of Power Gems. Um, usually that kills most bosses because in this particular form, this card will grant 400% damage increase to everybody across the board. Uh, in the case of the boss I'm getting ready to look at right now, that's not going to happen. So, once you do that first initial hit, then the blossom effect is going to be, um, a blooming effect is going to be uh, active for um, two turns for the ultra rare version of that card, which means it's going to spawn power gem twos. As long as you don't use them, then you're going to be able to uh, reactivate the bloom effect on uh, your support card, then activate your master collection card again, make Power Gem 4s, activate everyone else again, and then boom, you're going to hit it real hard again. By that time, your intensity, or sorry, skill point should be high enough that when you do it again, this will actually make the Power Gym 4s and the Ultimate Power Gym. It's really weird how this, this card works. Um, I'm still uh, not 100% on figuring it out, but um, it seems to be doing something. So um, we're going to do a little bit of experimenting with this as I mess with it. Um, like I said, if you're using it just like anything else, it's no different than the Master Collection card other than it's just adding damage boost. But it still spawns tons of power gems. Um, yes, the Cedar is the Times 10 Slayer. I know you're not getting that from the, um, from the Giant. But the Giant spawns power gem 2s over the power gem 1s that the Cedar does. And so... Between all the power gems, that's uh, that's 20 power gems between the two. Uh, it powers up the three new intensity cards so high that it just it it makes it worth its while. You'll you'll understand here very very quickly. So we'll do a nine key hit, and we'll run through and we'll see how long it takes to do four trillion hit points. Um, I know I'll do almost a trillion. I'll actually I'll do well over a trillion um, in the first the first uh, major attack. The more power gems you save, the more you get later. So activator, stupid. Oh, that sucked. That's all right. This thing's still going to be full as hell. And here in a second, she's going to get hit. I'm going to get hit again, and then I'm going to have Power Gym 2s all over the place. You're about to see Power Gym 2s pop up everywhere. Try and save them as best you can. Um, I need to be hitting so I can get up to 150 intensity.
So the next time I do this, it's going to be the ultimate power gym will also show up if this doesn't kill her. Nope, doesn't. Okay, so I've got my intensity built up. And power gym twos. Now I'm just making stupid matches till she reactivates. All right. Now we'll see how stupid powerful this card gets. There's your ultimate power gem. And it made power gem fours. So an overkill of 1.3 trillion. So it takes a while to power that sucker up. The only other option would be to take out um, either the cedar, the giant, or the mushroom head dude and put in Rudolph.